summer we had a trellis in this raised bed garden and we were raising cucumbers on it. We had a nice crop of them, but eventually disease took its toll on the plants. And we decided that perhaps we need to sterilize the soil in some way. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can sterilize soils to get rid of diseases and insects. In the past, OSU has recommended using chemicals for that method, but we have a cheaper, more ecologically safe method to show you today, and that's soil solarization. Now soil solarization uses the sunlight and the heat of the sun to help uh, pasteurize actually the soil. And we can raise the soil temperature anywhere from about 96 to 126 degrees, depending on how long we leave our cover over our bed. Soil solarization works equally well on a flat garden area, but also on a raised bed such as this. And research has shown that it will kill nematodes, it will kill some weed seeds, and it will kill verticillium and fusarium wilt diseases that can be found in our soil. So it's really a very beneficial method. The trick is, though, to do it during the heat of summer, someplace in full sun. You must loosen up the soil and moisten it first so that you get plenty of good heat transfer down into the soil. Now after we've loosened this soil and, and have, have it watered down well, we will cover this over with a clear plastic covering. It's also very important that you use clear plastic as opposed to black plastic because you do want to get the, the heat build up underneath it that the clear plastic will allow you to do. You want to use probably as thin of a plastic material as you can. A plastic material that's four mils thick or less not only works better, but it's also more economical to use. One of the secrets to a successful soil solarization is to be sure that the plastic is sealed tightly around the area that you're trying to solarize. On a windy day, you may only want to unroll a little bit of your plastic at a time and keep it weighted down with boards or with brick until you can seal it around the area with soil if you're in your ground bed or staple it as Sue is being to do here on our raised bed.